Okay, so welcome back to some more MX versus ATV All Out. Today we are at Salt Lake, I believe, and the tracks that are left are either they have lines that I don't know how to hit, or they're just more straightforward. And Salt Lake is kind of like that. I think most people pretty much already know what the the bigger lines are here. I mean, well, we're not going to count this. Where there's a you can hit this section kind of interestingly after the finish line, and then there's two other sections. So pretty much, there's not a lot of different big line choices here, I don't think. Kind of mess that up. Now one of the bigger lines is here coming up. So quad. And then you can quad again, I kind of messed it up. I guess that would be a quad. Basically like a triple, but a small quad. Triple. Quad and maybe you could five that I don't know I haven't been able to yet I can't get over that last one if you can great but and it might be a possibility just because I can't get it doesn't mean it's not possible but uh, I can't quite get it and then the other one here this is the one that it's not hard I think it's pretty easy but sometimes I struggle oh we kind of got it I think you can I've well, actually, I haven't done it before, but I think you could jump over that last one. Hopefully, we can. And maybe instead of landing on that table, maybe you can jump all the way over it. What we might do is shift to fourth next time and see if that gives us enough to hop that entire table. I don't think you can, but I could be wrong. I'd like to quad this, too, because it's really not that difficult. The problem is, is I'm over jumping it, the first one. I don't see myself ever getting that landing over that last one. But you never know. I'm sure somebody could do it if they played a lot or if they have a really good bike setup, maybe. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to shift to fourth. Nah, I don't, I don't see that happening. What I'm doing is I'm messing myself up for the rest of that section. So I think the best way to go about that would be to just jump on top of it. I mean, if you could get all the way over, great. But I that for an average player, I think that's going to be kind of a difficult line. But I guess that's why they're the big line, because they're the, the pro line. Oh, come on, we got it. So you can quad that. So those are basically the only lines that I have for you at Salt Lake. If you have other ones that aren't your super secret line, go ahead and let us know in the comments because, or if you can jump like over this table on the, after the finish line, if you can hit that, let me know because I can't, I cannot hit that line. I mean, I don't think I have the, I have on the tuning, I backed off on the engine and the clutch. So maybe that would make a difference. Just feels, it just feels like you can get it. Oh, we got it! See, there we go. Sweet. I'm glad we, <laughs> I'm glad we went for one more lap so we could uh, get that for you. So that's that's the bigger line that I know of. And maybe I'll play around afterwards and see if I can jump all the way over that table. And if I can, then uh, we'll probably show that as well. But if I can't, then we'll just skip to the skip to the last track. So. Uh, the next track, I don't know, maybe Vegas. Someone was talking about a quad there, but I don't see how I'm going to hit it, but we'll try or, uh, East Rutherford or something. I don't remember what they were, but we'll go check out another track. Unless I find a way of jumping over that table, then that will be what you see next. Okay, so here we are at San Diego. Now, this is one of the tracks that I kind of skipped over because I wasn't totally sure what all the bigger lines would be, you can quad this section. Now, usually what I do is I'm like triple and a half and have a massive case, but it is possible to quad it. Hopefully we can get that for you during this video. But the one that's gonna, gonna really suck, the one that's gonna be really tough is this one. You can quad this section. Usually what I'll do is I'll like, I'll triple. Triple, quad, and then step on, step off. But you can actually quad to the top of that first table there. And I've only gotten it twice, once on PS4 and once on PC. It's not easy, it's really hard. Come on. Oh, come on. All right, well, that wasn't pretty, but if we don't get it, now you've seen it. And this is stupid, like this, 
Well, actually, we don't even get it. It's so easy to over jump that and triple and then have a single into the corner. I don't think it's worth it, though. I think that single's weird. And then that's kind of what happens when you try to hit that quad sometimes. Let's see if we can get it. It's like I try to carry too much speed, but it's kind of hard to get over it. I have troubles with it. Oh, there we kind of got it. But you can get it clean. Hopefully we can get it clean yet, but it is possible. So those are like the main ones. And this is one that I don't think is practical because of how difficult it is. But it is an option. I mean, it doesn't even look like we're going to get it, to be honest with you. If you're just watching, you're like, no way. It doesn't look possible. But I got this weird bounce both times. And you can tell. Like, I can feel it. You know what I mean? Like, even though it's a video game, you can feel when you're actually going to get it. Oh, better. Much better. And there we go. So that was better. Hopefully we can get this quad yet at the beginning. Maybe you can quad this. Right offhand, I doubt it, but maybe you can. Man, now it's, now it's looking super hard. It's not super hard, but it's just, again, it's one of those lines where is it worth even trying? because it's so awkward to get. Is it worth it or is it better just to be consistent? Let's see if we can get this. Not even close. Second gear doesn't work though. Second gear isn't enough. It's not enough. It's like second gear and first gear feel too close to me. They don't, there's not enough of a, second gear needs to be longer. You know what I mean? So third gear is basically what I use for everything. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go around for one more lap and see if we can hit that line. Well, I still need to hit that quad off the start. I mean, we did hit it, but it wasn't very clean. No, I don't really see how it's possible to quad that section. I just, I don't like that line. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, we got it. Sweet. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't want to have to do that one later. Uh, no big deal. So we're going to try this one yet. And if we don't get it on this lap, then we'll transition to hopefully when I do. If I can, I'll try, but no, we're not going to get it. It's just, I've only hit it twice. So it's kind of like, am I going to get the bounce? Am I going to get everything perfect to get it or not? If I can get it again, we'll transition to it. If I can't, well, it's an option. It is possible. It's just, I've only gotten it twice. Now, it's not like I've rode many, many, many a laps here at San Diego, but I've rode enough laps here that hitting it only two times is pretty, pretty rare. Pretty rare for me. And if I can't get it, you can always go check out Matt, Cubs fan. He's probably hit it uh, many a times. Ooh, don't crash. So what I'll do is I'll transition to when we actually do get it, hopefully. And if I don't, then we'll just be at uh, whatever the next track is. Oh my god, we got it. You know what? That's just going to have to be good enough. Holy moly, that took forever. I think you can actually have a better... Because every time I've gotten it, I've never closed out the rhythm. So maybe there's like a better timing overall once you do quad on that. But whoa, uh, I actually had to... I tried so many times that I had to reset it because the track was getting so torn up. So there you go. Now one little... Uh, tip I guess if you're trying to go for that and it's difficult for you jump through the whoops jump through them So that when you land you land to like the second or third one like let's back up here So you'd want to have the timing to where you jump through them that you're jumping off this third one or even the second one and you're landing You know somewhere in here It actually lets you carry more speed through this corner than if you're trying to skim the top So going through the whoops might be slower but it lets you hit this bigger line. So again, I don't think it's really a practical one, but it is an option. It's just, it's really difficult to get it. So let's hop on over to whatever the next track's gonna be. Okay, and the last track we're gonna take a little look at is East Rutherford. Now this track, I actually kind of like it, but yet I don't like it at the same time. It's like one of those tracks where it's more technical. There's some bigger lines here, but some of them are again difficult to get and uh, we'll try our best. There's probably going to be a lot of transitions in this one, and 
Uh, there might be some that I'm not aware of, but we're going to try and hit most of them at least. There's one really big one right away here. And we're not going to get it. You can actually jump to that last one, step over, and then I think it leaves you with like a quad here maybe, something like that. Uh, this weird little quad here. And there's this section, which whatever, really, I mean, you can jump a little bit farther, but I don't think it really makes that much difference. Now, this section after the whoops, I think you can jump to the second table, I think. Oh, come on. Oh, what a case, man. I bet that didn't feel good. Yeah, I think that's a possibility. We didn't really get it. Quad. And then whatever that is. And then that out. I mean, that's pretty standard, I think. And then the stupid thing is you can jump this entire section. It's not even... It's definitely not meant to be like that. Definitely not. At least I don't think it is. But that triple, I think that was a triple, it's so small that it's like, you know, why not? I guess you're in the air for a really long time, and I don't know if it's actually faster, but it's just weird. It's just really weird. Oh, man, we butchered the quad out. Plus, I think I might have been off the track, but you can hit that. You can hit that without uh, hitting it really wonky like I did. It's really not that bad. It's just I didn't quite get it. Uh, hopefully we can get it clean. If we can't, we'll edit to when we actually do. But we'll run a couple laps here. Now, this is a little bit on the longer side of a track. I'm not going to get this line now. I, I, I don't like this way. It's just it feels so slow that way. Let's see if we can do this again. No, I don't think so. I think I overjumped too much. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, too much. Now, I'm not saying that this is the fastest way, just in case you were thinking that. It's just, yeah, see, look, this triple is teeny tiny. I think, I mean, that's how it's supposed to be, but it just, it's so small. It's so small. It's so easy to overjump it. Same with that. And then it kind of throws you off for the rest of that section, so... Uh, I like East Rutherford. It's just kind of it's kind of a weird track to go around. Let's see if we can get this. No, I mean that line, it's tough. It's not like it's not the most difficult line in the game, but it's really hard to get that one consistently. I mean a lot of these bigger lines are difficult to get consistently, which would be the whole risk reward thing, but man, that one's really tough. Let's see if we can jump this. I really want to get this clean. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't think that's much faster, but it's an option. It's an option if you wanted it. And we're not going to get this either, so... I mean, we're running really ugly laps here, but it's just because I'm trying... Well, really there's no excuse for it. We're just straight up running some ugly laps here. Just jump the entire thing. I don't know. Maybe it is faster. It's really hard to tell. If someone's like ghost race that and found out it'd be curious or I'd be curious to know but I feel like I feel like that's probably maybe the same almost exactly the same because you're in the air forever oh come on yeah we got it there you go we got it I think that's probably the bigger way through that section. I mean, maybe there's a little bit different timing. I mean, there's actually a lot of different rhythms through that section. That That's why I really enjoy that one, because there's so many different choices. But uh, that's, what, you know, if I was trying to hit a really big line, that's probably what I would go for. I mean, if I happen to find something, because usually what I do is after, after I do the little bit of recording here on it, I'll mess around on the track for a while just to see if there is something else. But... Um, most of the time, I don't really find too much else in this section. What I might have to do is just ghost race this to see how much slower or how much quicker it is to jump the whole thing. Because to jump that whole thing isn't that hard. You don't even have to have that big of a run. Now, another thing, some people were saying, what I've been doing, the automatic, like, I know Cubs fan uses the automatic still and he's really fast. But what I've been, and I think the automatic is better. The problem I have with the automatic transmission is it won't downshift. It's like... I'll go into the corner and forth, and then it'll just stay in fourth, and you'll try to be pulling fourth gear out of the corner. 
and it, it just doesn't work like that. It doesn't work that well. So what I've been doing is I'm using the manual, the default manual, not the thumbstick shift, the default manual, and then leaving it in third gear and never really shifting. I mean, occasionally down a really long stretch of straightaway, you'll have to shift to, to fourth. And it doesn't really quite work like that on the Nationals. If you're like a big fan of the Nationals, it's it's a little bit different. But for Supercross, at least, that's kind of how I've been playing playing the, or how I've been using the bike. So, uh, yeah, I think we got. Did we get everything? I think we got all the bigger lines. Now, what I'll do is I'll kind of mess around because on the start here, there's another option. That jump is kind of like offset. So we're going to the the far outside and hitting that big line. I'll see what there is if we go to the inside of that. But uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else too much bigger here. Again, if I do find it, I will edit to when we when we do hit that section. So I will see you in a little bit because I'm gonna go try it. And if I don't find it, we'll just come back and wrap up the video. Oh man, that wasn't a bigger line, but that felt good. That was so smooth. And then we case the quad. Yeah, I don't think you want to preload off that. I think you want to actually just kind of slip down into that and then double. Because I was wondering, because I didn't preload it before. So yeah, I think that's how we want to do that section. Oh man, I think that's probably the bigger way through that section. If you were to take the inside, I mean, maybe you could get that last one. I didn't quite get it, but I'm not 100% sure what gear we need to be in for that either. All right, so I think that's gonna about wrap it up. Uh, hopefully, I think we got that other line, the lower one. I mean, the only thing else you could have possibly done there is if you double this, then it's double, triple, quad, so we're fiving to right here is what I think we did. And then you could double, triple, quad, five. I mean, maybe you could five out. I think we just got the quad. I think. I'm not 100% sure. So that's like the only other rhythm that I could see. I mean, there's a lot of rhythms through there. But as far as like faster ones go, I think that would probably be the route you want to take. And... Uh, go from there and, and then this section. I mean, there's multiple ways to go through there what I had been doing before And it's not necessarily necessarily the bigger line is I was jumping to this Stepping on and then just kind of something like that basically because I just didn't like the line where you're clearing that first table and then Quadding out or whatever that is. I think it's quadding. So Yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up. I'm not sure how long the video is but I think that's as much time as we have for today so there's a couple tracks left for Supercross that we can do. I mean, like St. Louis really doesn't have that many options. I don't think it's bigger lines. I mean, there's a few. There's a few, but they're pretty straightforward. So there's probably one more bigger lines video we'll get in here with the stock tracks that they have in the game. And then we'll have to wait and see whatever they want to add later. I'm assuming we'll get tracks eventually. So we can do bigger lines videos on that too. I know this one wasn't great. But it's just what I know of. And if you know other ones, let me know in the comments and maybe we can revisit some of these tracks that have bigger lines that I miss. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on this series so far. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.